Today I'm gonna to teach you why you have to back up all your files. Doesn't matter what you're shooting, always back up all your files and you're about to learn why. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jesus Martinez and I'm a San Diego photographer trying to go full time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow the journey. All right guys, so I managed to get the courage and I feel like it's time to share this story. And it, this is a story of me finally deciding of diving into wedding photography. This happened about a year ago and I decided to make a post on Craigslist, see how many people would reach out to me. And within a week I had a couple inquiries and one actually went through. So the whole idea was it was gonna be a courthouse wedding and it was gonna be a two day thing. There was gonna be like a family gathering the next day. Now for all of this, I do not have photos. I have some, but I can't show them because the clients didn't want to do anything with them on social media, which was kind of a bummer. That was the ultimate goal of doing this wedding. But the turnaround was kind of, not what I expected. A couple days before the wedding day, I go on YouTube and just like any other new photographer, I blow through a couple hours of YouTube tutorials and YouTube ideas of how to pose and wedding poses and doing all of this thing until I finally felt confident. At least that's what I kept telling myself in the mirror. It worked. <laughs> the day came, I got my gear together, meet them up at the courthouse and the whole idea was it would be a courthouse shoot because it was a courthouse wedding. And from there we would go on to a location shoot. And the next day, like I mentioned, it was a family gathering. It went amazing. I got these really cool shots and everything was going very, very good. The next day rolled up, I went to the little event and it was a little bit small. It was kind of hard to get around and get all the shots, but we managed to pull through and it was really fun. The newlyweds were amazing. They were great, great, great people. I got home, I edited everything. It probably took me like two, three days. Uh, and I had everything done. It was all complete, edited, and I kept trying to actually contact them, but I didn't hear back from them. I knew they were gonna be going to Europe for their actual honeymoon, so I didn't wanna bother them. So I just waited for them to contact me. When I had finished with the edits, I actually just backed up the courthouse wedding because it was the first day and I actually pretty much got through it in the first day. And the next shoot, which was the family get together, I didn't back it up. It was all on one external hard drive, which I tended to carry with me at all times. So I kept lagging it, the day didn't get back to me. I had the photos ready and it probably about a month passed by before I got a call back from them asking me if I had the photos. So obviously I said yes and they gave me the address and I was just gonna mail out to him a flash drive. I thought that would be the easiest way since both our schedules kind of didn't concur so well. Hanged up the phone, opened my laptop and as I was going through my files, I realized I didn't have it anymore. Yes, I had lost the wedding photos. I scrambled, I freaked out, I panicked. I actually had work that day, I called out. I moved every little piece of my house. I moved the couch, I moved the cat's bed, I moved everything in the house. We were even gonna move out. I think we were in the process of moving out. I think we had a couple days before moving out. So everything was kind of starting to get packed. So I knew I had gone through every single pocket of pants, of backpacks, everywhere. And the hard drive did not turn out. When I came to realize that about a week ago we had gone to the beach and done a shoot and I had the tendency of carrying my hard drive in my backpack along with my laptop and some other stuff when I'd go shoot because sometimes I just end up editing and it was the worst, worst thing I could have ever done because not only did I lost those photos which was the worst feeling ever, I lost a lot of my old work, a lot of photos that I had backed up from my iPhone and my actual own wedding photos. Yes. So after going through the biggest depression moment of photography for me, I manned up the courage, I called him and I told him what was going on. And obviously I could hear that they were very disappointed. And for me, it was the most embarrassing, the worst feeling ever, ever. And I really don't want you guys to go through this. So as it is, I now have about three to four backups. I leave one on my PC, I leave one on my external drive, and I leave one on my SD cards. And if I really feel like I need another one, I create a fourth backup on another external drive, depending how big of a project this was. At a minimum, I now have three backups for the shoots that I do. Now, if you guys are still wondering what happened, I actually returned them the money. I sent them a flash drive with the full edited, full quality photos of the actual courthouse wedding. But from the actual family get together, the only thing I could do was recover the actual samples from Lightroom, uh, which are very, very low quality. So I managed to grab like two or three that were actual good quality, 
but it was about 100 photos that I was able to recover and they were all just like tiny, tiny samples, like not even on the phone. Like you, you can tell what it is, but it's, it's pixeled out. And like I mentioned, this is like the worst feeling ever. I didn't share the story. I always hit it under the rocks, but this kind of like suppressed my photography for a while. I decided I was giving up on it and I stopped doing photography for a couple months and then I realized that I'm not the only person that goes through this and as a new photographer, I really, really recommend to everybody back up your photos, spend the money, get the hard drive, find a way to where you have a backed up file for every shoot that you do, especially for weddings. Now I'm thinking of investing more of my time into wedding photography as it seems like it's a more viable business and working on the weekends would be very perfect with my schedule and an ongoing photography career. So we'll see how that works. I'll keep you guys updated. As it is, I'm gonna try and reach out to some photographers and see if I could second shoot just to get more of a bigger portfolio and eventually start doing my full on wedding business. But we'll see how this goes. And again, this channel is all about me updating where I'm at in my photography. Hopefully a year from now I can look back and laugh at this like really laugh at this because even up to date this is it's pretty embarrassing not gonna lie <laughs> it was a horrible experience horrible experience i can't imagine the actual bride and groom how they felt about it at the very least i got them the courthouse photos so that turned out all right anyways if you guys have been through something like this i'd love to hear your story drop it down in the comments if you guys have any questions again down there if you guys want to check out my work it's at little visuals and see you guys on the next video Thanks for watching this very sad, horrifying photography story.